Combact is the first public-private partnership with a pharmaceutical company in drug development in the infectious disease field. I think this would be a huge advance because um, this is not only an um, initiative that's being driven by Europe to address uh, antimicrobial resistance in Europe, but this paradigm will, will impact greatly the global fight against antimicrobial resistance. I think this is something that's really unique um, with this collaboration between uh, the academic sites and, and our uh, industry partners. Combat can set the agenda and the pace for the rest of the world. According to the World Health Organization, antibiotic resistance is becoming a public health emergency of yet unknown proportions. In the European Union, antimicrobial resistance, or AMR, is responsible for some 25,000 deaths every year. Meanwhile, new forms of resistance continue to arise and spread, leaving clinicians with few weapons to bring infections under control. Yet despite the recognized need for new antibiotics, the reality is that only two new classes of antibiotics have been brought to the market in the last three decades. Little new antibiotics have been developed during the last two decades. One of the key reasons was that we had excellent antibiotics for the infections that we had to deal with. The bacteria were susceptible to these old and relatively cheap antibiotics, so for any new antibiotic to enter that market was very difficult. Now we are seeing infections with bacteria that are resistant to all the antibiotics that we have. So now we do need new antibiotics, and we need to evaluate these new antibiotics on their effectiveness and their safety. A key problem with the development, though, is the large investment needed to get new drugs to a patient. Of course, there, there's a very important issue about the return on investment. So if uh, pharmaceutical uh, companies invest in oncology, in diabetes, even in HIV, uh, these are more chronic infections, so they uh, can get more return on investment. There's a larger market. So all these uh, uh, obstacles and hurdles have to be tackled uh, so that we make sure that there is introduction of new antibiotics uh, in the near future. European collaboration on antimicrobial resistance is very important because resistance differs greatly among the European countries and resistant bacteria do not respect the borders and therefore it's very important to have a, a European approach in our combat against antimicrobial resistant bacteria. Enter the IMI-funded COMBAC project, which aims to give antibiotic drug development a much-needed boost by pioneering new ways of designing and implementing efficient clinical trials for novel antibiotics. There are many challenges to fight antimicrobial resistance and nobody on its own can address those. Therefore, there's a need to work together. And under the umbrella of the Innovative Medicine Initiative, a neutral platform, it, it's a great opportunity to bring together all the leaders in the field from the public and from the private sectors to work together and to create this collaborative intelligence to address these challenges. Combat realizes a network of clinical sites throughout Europe, the so-called CLINET. This network connects excellently trained and high-quality investigators in the field and also provides the patient groups required for the clinical trials and statistics that can be used for epidemiological research. To make sure all sites evaluate their patients accordingly, all facilitating laboratories should be involved as well, forming LabNet. Close collaboration between ClinNet and LabNet is very important because we want to make sure that for the clinical trials we deliver excellent microbiology for the diagnostic part. Now, in most parts of Europe, microbiology labs are outstanding and deliver good diagnostic care. But in some parts of Europe, clearly there's a need for better training of a microbiologist to deliver better diagnostic microbiology. And that's what we're also doing in LabNet. We focus on these countries and on these microbiology labs to organize a training course, training sessions, and workshops. Finally, the design of clinical trials should be investigated too. StatNet is responsible for evaluating and, if possible, redesigning clinical trials. So StatNet will try to reduce the 
size of studies, the number of patients that need to be included, because this is a very expensive and, uh, and, and difficult operation to run large studies, StatNet will help to reduce the number of patients that are required to demonstrate efficacy, but also still uh, guarantee uh, basic safety uh, concerns so that uh, we can introduce new antibiotics. Combact is one of the first projects of the wider program on antimicrobial resistance launched by the Innovative Medicine Initiative, a public-private partnership between the European Union and the European pharmaceutical industry. Combact is a unique public-private partnership between academia and industry, which really is unprecedented within the antibacterial uh, development space and is something that we really are quite interested in becoming key partners in developing this clinical and laboratory network as well as the statistical uh, support network as well. So I think the unique aspect of, uh, of this paradigm uh, is shared partnership as well as shared leadership. Uh, which is very important because uh, shared leadership uh, brings a shared sense of accountability and responsibility and, and therefore also there's a shared vision of making sure that the goals are achieved. It's long been the intention of AstraZeneca to, to partner with academics to jointly overcome the challenges of antibiotic clinical trials, especially in those areas of Europe where antibiotic resistance is both emerging and endemic. We need to jointly share the risks of developing antibiotics for, for what are currently limited populations of patients with infections due to these resistant bugs before the problem becomes endemic. I think the main point there is really that when we're developing a drug, we look at it from a global approach. We look at trying to, when we get the drug approved, we want it approved in as many markets as possible to have the greatest impact. And I think we clearly have, you know, the U.S. and Europe as key markets for any drugs that we develop, but we also look very closely at Northeast Asia, uh, at China, Japan, Korea as other key markets. This is not a one-dimensional uh, program. Uh, this really allows uh, for the unique expertise from different, very different perspectives. So this includes um, in clinical investigators. This includes people who have expertise in translational sciences. This includes people who have expertise in epidemiology and surveillance uh, research. This includes people who have expertise in clinical trial design, preclinical work. So I think this is really a unique, true, complete package for, um, for, uh, for bench to bedside uh, clinical development. Comeback will create a new environment for the, the clinical development of novel antibiotics targeting AMR, and especially with the establishment of a high quality network of investigators. And we see already that uh, this uh, network and this project is mobilizing a lot of um, interesting uh, sites from all over Europe. By 2020, we would like to demonstrate that we are able to uh, deliver clinical trial with uh, higher quality that it's done as usual, uh, shortening the recruitment period and uh, to be more cost effective. Comeback will be a new European clinical trial network in all European countries in which we can evaluate with a very high quality, with a high speed, new antibiotics for patients with infections caused by antibiotic-resistant bacteria.